Welcome to beautiful Quebec. It's been a while since we've been here and what a treat it is. The scenery is absolutely outstanding. You're not going to want to miss this review. Well, did you know that since 2017, the fastest growing segment in the automotive market in Canada is the small SUV. And look at what we have here. This is a brand new 2024 Chevrolet Trax. And you know what? It's so new, they could have probably even named it something different. So let's get to it. Well, this is the new 2024 Chevrolet Trax. This happens to be the RS edition. Now we mentioned this thing is all new from the ground up. Uh, Size-wise, it's longer by about six inches than the previous model. It is two inches wider, it's shorter. And if you want to compare this with the Trailblazer, this is actually longer than the Trailblazer as well. If you want to go to the Trailblazer, you're going to have the option of all-wheel drive. We're going to talk about that when we get into driving. So the RS trim comes with this nice black finish. You'll see black on the grill. You got black mirror caps. You have black roof rails. These daytime running lights and lights are influenced from the Chevrolet Blazer. Standard, you have 17 inch wheels. If you go to the active trim, you get 18 inch wheels. And on this RS, you get 19 inch wheels. For some nice comfort features, you have the actual keyless entry to get into. Now that doesn't come on to the base model, but if you go up a couple models, you get that. The doors are nice and wide. And the nice thing about them, you have auto down on all windows and these windows roll all the way down, which is a big bonus when you have kids. Open up the gas filler and we have a capless system here. No mention of premium, even though this is a turbocharged engine, you can put regular stuff in here. That's a big bonus. In the back, we have a rear wiper. You'll see the tracks and the RS badging here. Open this up. By the way, it also has the black bow tie. Open up, it is not a power hatch, but this is a small compact. 725 liters of cargo capacity behind the rear seats, and that's 161 liters more than the outgoing model. If you need more room, you can fold those rear seats down. This is plenty of room, and it's actually uh, more than the Hyundai Venue, as well as even the Corolla Cross from Toyota. All right, we are in another Trax here. This happens to be the Active. Now the difference between the Active and the RS, kind of subtle differences on the front uh, grill area, instead of that black chrome that we had on the RS, we have a color matched uh, horizontal bar that goes across. You still have the black mirror caps, the black roof rails. You do also get different rims on this. So we have 18 inch wheels on this active. On the inside, it's a little bit different. Instead of that red or orange piping that we had on the RS, you'll see we have this yellow piping and these yellow accents on the front of the dash. Now you can get two different kind of uh, styles in this active for the front area. You can get the matching yellow or you can get what they call Artemis which is kind of like a grayish, kind of champagne type of color. Uh, I, I like this actually yellow. It kind of fits very well here. By the way, this is Brody here in the right seat as our, uh, he's the photographer for uh, the General Motors program that we're on right now. So some of these images you may see might come from this guy right here. So if they're good, give it a thumbs up. If they're bad, let him know, all right? <laughs> so uh, on the inside, uh, we have standard in Canada, standard heated seats and a heated steering wheel is not standard on the base trim, but if you go up uh, a little bit, you do get a standard heated steering wheel and that's in Canada here. This one also has a power sunroof. That is a package you can get. If you get that package, you also get wireless charging. Screen size, well, you can go on, on the base trim, you actually get, uh, analog gauges on either side and a three and a half inch screen in the middle. It's really small and you get a standard eight inch infotainment screen. It does come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you go into the Active or the RS trim that we've been driving, you get a large full digital eight inch display in behind the steering wheel and 
an 11 inch screen. This is really, really big. Um, it looks great with the Apple CarPlay for your navigation or your Android Auto. You have a large standard backup camera. You do not have a 360 cam on this, but most vehicles in this class will not come with a 360 camera. And regardless what size screen you go, there are safety options like that teen driver system. So if you are buying this or letting your new driver in your family take this out, you can actually set limits on it. And uh, yeah, it keeps them, you know, keeps them under control a little bit. Seat wise, we have this artificial leather, uh, very, very comfortable. You have a power driver's seat on the active trim only. If you go even for the top RS, that is a manual seat. So if you want the power, go for the active. Now in the back, one thing that I really, really like, normally you find it on you know, either pickup trucks or EVs, you get a completely flat floor in the rear. Awesome for passengers. This new Trax has three inches more rear seat legroom than the outgoing model. Remember we said this, they could actually call this an entirely different vehicle. It is so different. Uh, size wise, it really doesn't look like a small SUV. And this is perfect. It's easy to get in and out of for people that you know don't wanna really go really down into a sedan. But the rear seats, very, very accommodating for almost any size passengers. You also have uh, two USBs. They use type A and type C, so either way you're covered. So we started in Quebec City. We've driven to the Charlevoix area in Quebec. And I gotta tell you, the roads are beautiful. The scenery is outstanding. We're driving along the coast. and But one of the highlights for sure, check the, these videos out here. We stayed at this kind of like a, I'm gonna say almost like an eco resort. It's minimalistic, yet it's very, very different and kind of luxurious. At the same time, it's called Repair Boreal, Boreal, yes. And uh, they have some of the most unique lodging options out there. Like it's wild. You have some containers that they've converted into lodges and cabins. And I was lucky enough to stay at one of their, they only have two of them, uh, of these kind of tree houses. So you're up 30 feet or 10 meters up in the air. And the way that they actually use that space, it's incredible. They, it had full everything. You had a full kitchen. You had the most amazing view. You have a shower, you got a bathroom. And even the, the, the water pressure and the toilet, it's all normal. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how they did it. You're out in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, that, is, that was a super, super big highlight. And I think that this vehicle did a great job getting us there, obviously. So what's underneath this hood? It's a 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder. Yes, and it puts out 137 horsepower and 162 pound feet of torque. Doesn't sound like much, but get this. It's matched to a six-speed automatic transmission. A lot of vehicles in this class are, have CVTs, continuously variable transmission, including if you go to its kind of sibling, the Trailblazer, if you're comparing these two vehicles, the biggest difference between this and the Trailblazer is that one, you can get it with all-wheel drive where this Trax is only front-wheel drive only. That one also uh, is, from front-wheel drive, is a CVT. It's not until you get to the all-wheel drive that you get a, a conventional automatic transmission. So right there, I think this has an advantage. Also, this is actually larger than the Trailblazer as well, and has a lower starting price. If you want some more premium features, you can get those on the Trailblazer though. So let's get to the performance though. Over two days of driving, over you know highway driving, up long, long, steep hills, this thing has performed like an absolute champ. Uh, it doesn't feel like 137 horses. It's, uh, it feels like a lot more. The torque is comes on so low into the RPM and even at 120 clicks on the freeway, up a hill, it, had, it was effortless. And I wanna compare this even, uh, you know, we spent a year in the Mitsubishi Outlander, for instance, that's a bigger vehicle, but that had a two and a half liter four cylinder, non-turbo and at 180 some odd horsepower. So it had 50 horsepower more than this, but it had the CVT. I would rather poke my nose into traffic to get into a spot 
with this one because it's so much more responsive than a powertrain like that one. Fuel economy wise, well, whenever you have a turbocharged engine, it's not going to be the greatest for economy when you're into that turbo. 7.9 liters per 100K, that's about 30 miles per gallon for our US friends down south there. Even though it's classified as an SUV, it really kind of feels and drives and kind of even looks more like a, a large kind of hatchback or even wagon. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Check out this scenery. I'm gonna take a picture with my phone so you can see it. To the floor. This thing will get to triple digits actually quicker than you would expect. And I don't know if you heard the engine, um, it's noticeable, but the actual sound in the cabin is quite quiet. One of the reasons, standard across all tracks is noise cancellation. I'm really impressed with the drive and the utility of this Chevrolet Trax. Now, some of the competitors would be something like the Hyundai uh, Venue or the Nissan Kicks. Um, or even the Corolla Cross from Toyota. And I'm telling you, with that six-speed automatic transmission, it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, you also, this has more room, as I mentioned, uh, than most vehicles in this class of vehicle. And it has a great entry point as well. So which one is for you? Well, it all depends what kind of options you want, but they all do come with this really great powertrain with that six-speed automatic transmission. Remember, uh, this is only front-wheel drive. So if you're looking for all-wheel drive, go to that Trailblazer. But anyways, the base LS uh, starts at just over 24,000 Canadian dollars, and that is all in price, and that's freight and PDI and everything other than your taxes. Uh, they say one of the most popular sellers will be the One RS. So it's one up from the base, but you get the looks of the RS. So you even get the larger, larger rims on that, and uh, I think that's going to be popular. But I would go maybe for the the LT. So that's going to run you about 28,000. That one RS is about just over 25,000. So that's why, you know, it's a pretty, pretty compelling package. The LT will get you into some more of the premium features. And of course, if you go to the top of line active or the RS, it's going to set you back just roughly about $30,000, which really is not bad because, you know, even like a Honda Civic now, like a hatch is like $30,000. Uh, with a vehicle like this, I, I'm telling you, it's got a lot more utility. Uh, it's a great size. We got good headroom and a lot of high-tech features as well. So uh, yeah, there really kind of is a Trax for whatever your budget is. Just like those amazing tree houses that we stayed in, this Chevy Trax is kind of like a hidden gem, but it's not going to be hidden for long because this thing checks so many boxes for so many people. This is perfect for first time buyers. Maybe you have a, a kid going to college, perfect second vehicle, let them drive it as well, empty nesters. Maybe you just want something a little bit easier to get in and out of. The size on here, it's a small SUV, but it's, it's really not that small. It's low, it's long, and you know what? Value-wise, get into this for around 24,000 Canadian dollars. It is definitely one of the best deals out there. You get something brand new, you got warranty, you get that great 1.2 liter powertrain and that six-speed automatic transmission. I think Chevrolet has got a real, real winner here, and I think they're gonna sell a lot of these Chevy Traxxas. They will be in the dealership in a couple months, so if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the video description. Thanks for watching, don't forget, like and subscribe. Bye.